Liberal democracy faces an urgent and unprecedented threat. The rise of professional, commercialized subversion in the service of authoritarianism around the world. Call it Subversion Inc. For centuries, subversion was one of the principal clandestine activities of governments. Today, private companies are selling powerful surveillance services for malign purposes, and the impact on civil society and independent journalism is chilling. In Hungary, a photojournalist was targeted with Pegasus, a powerful spyware sold by NSO Group, for taking photos of people who were boring Prime Minister Viktor Orban's yacht in the Mediterranean. President Rodrigo Duterte and his supporters have used an industrial scale disinformation system to target opposition groups with deep fakes and incriminating photos likely stolen from their very own cell phones. A perfect storm has formed. All of the right conditions have emerged for subversion to become more widely practiced by more actors at a lower risk and with greater chances of success. Globalization, deregulation and privatization loosened restraints in telecommunications, broadcasting, and social media. The creation of a group of mega-rich linked to their national governments has resulted in more people with access to more money and more methods to protect their interests. The rise of privatized subversion support services offer risk analysis, reputation management, legal support, and other solutions for the right price. Our current digital communications environment Invasive by design, fundamentally insecure, poorly regulated, and prone to widespread abuses, assists private companies in committing their subversive deeds. The scope of this problem is immense. This dawning of a golden age of subversion is ultimately disastrous for humanity and a foundational threat to democracy. The time to act is now.